Hi, hi, I've... I keep forgetting to turn the camera on. It's so late at night that I keep forgetting to turn the camera on. I'm very angry right now. Nevertheless, hello and welcome to Telecreations. I'm not a naturally angry person, but I'm angry at my own stupidity here. Today we're going to be talking about the limited edition, one of a thousand copies, a Trip to the Moon Deluxe set. I'm going to start with the J card, which I don't know what the hell I should do with right now uh, because it's a J card and it doesn't have any sticky things so um, yeah I might just cut it off and just slot it in with the case but I'll show you this is a big J card of course even though it just wraps up like that so let's show you the J card first this is the A Trip to the Moon if you want to read the text and, or at all or whatever feel free to pause it if not of course you can look on the Arrow video website for all the details that accompany this, including the fact that there is, it's Region B, has uh, a 12 minute run time and a 60 minute run time because it comes with the film uh, A Trip to the Moon and The Extraordinary Voyage. So that's the J card. And this is the box. It's very light right now because I've taken everything out because I was halfway without filming. <laughs> before I realized that my camera had just turned off on me. So this is A Trip to the Moon. This is the 1,000 copy only thing. I really want to, I really want to emphasize that because I bought it because it's a part of film history. This is important to film history. And also it's a very creative film. The fact that the Blu-ray itself not just has a documentary and a bunch of video essays and stuff talking about the film, but it has two versions of the film, the black and white and the color version. The black and white one being 12 minutes long and having its own score. In fact, I think it has two different scores that you can listen to for that. Uh, one that has voice acting. And the color version, which is 16 minutes long, has a whole bunch of text talking about the remastering process and stuff. And of course you get it in color, plus you get four different, three to four different other tracks that you can listen to audio-wise. So you get different music for each different take. It's very uniquely done. And this isn't like the same music play, like recorded by different conductors. This is like completely differently written music. It's very unique of an experience. I'm yet to watch the video essay or the, or the documentary, but I have skimmed through parts of them. Nevertheless, this is your box. Of course, you've got the friendly moon, who's obviously very angry. And you've got the title there as well, of the Arrow Academy. Uh, on your side, you've got Arrow Academy, A Trip to the Moon, and uh, just a little number. Uh, nothing anywhere else. It is completely barren on the rest, which is disappointing, given that they gave me a big-ass J card. I don't know what the hell to do with it. Like I said, it might be snipping it off to put it in here, because that's usually what I... That sounds really wrong. But that's usually what I do when I get J cards. I don't like J cards. It does have like a fake looking texture to it, which you cannot really pick up on the camera, but it's kind of got this like looking lever thing, uh, which of course makes sense when you actually take a look at the book. But firstly, I'm going to show you what the disc comes in. This is what the disc comes in. So it comes in this little book, that little, it's the same goddamn size. It's just thin as hell. <laughs> um, so this is the A Trip to the Moon, Le Voyage Dans La Luna. Of course, you've got your Arrow Video, uh, Arrow Academy logo. On the back, you have a whole bunch, this exact same text, except you just have a bit more different stuff with the, um, you know, production credits and about the restoration. Uh, in terms of the specifics, outside of the limited edition to, you know, 1,000 copies with deluxe limited edition packaging, all that kind of deal, and a 214-page hardback case-bound book of George Millet's autobiography, previously unpublished in English. Uh, you got a high definition representation. You got original uncompressed stereo 2.0 audio. Uh, you've got optional English subtitles, which is interesting. I think that's mostly for the. Um, uh, I think that's actually for the film because I read this part afterwards. Scores by Robert Israel and a second score featuring actors voice voicing parts as originally screened in the U.S. with an un with an accompaniment by Frederick Hodges for the black and white version. That's unique. I'm interested to actually watch that version of it because the black and white version and color version are different. Mostly because they're actually differently edited as well. It's very unique. Scores by Jeff Mills, Dorian Pimpernel, and Sergei Bromberg for the color version. Uh, the Innovations of George Millet is a new video essay by John Spira exploring A Trip to the Moon and Millet's career. 
uh, that's like less than 20 minutes of a video essay, The Extraordinary Voyage, Sergei Bromberg and Eric Lang, Langs, Langs? Uh, 2011 documentary on the film, its rediscovery and re and preservation for future generations, much like this, uh, featuring interviews with other people and whatever, and Le Grand Melee's, a 1952 short film directed by George Franju about the works and life of Melee, uh, and of course your book. And then of course you open this baby up, and that's it. <laughs> All that... For a de for a regular sized disc, yeah. Look, it nicely sticks in there. It's you know you got that going for you. And then of course you got this, which is the book, which is has a beautiful cover. This is a very nice kind of feltish uh, feel to it. Then you got the book explaining you know what it's about and all that kind of jazz. You got some um, the lost autobiography of George Millet by Millet and Spira of course, translations and whatnot. And then you got a whole detail of stuff, including drawings and images, uh, all these different texts telling you about a lot of things. It even actually goes, there are so many chapters and stuff, and it even goes through his whole entire filmography, which is 21 pages long, and there are all, this guy did a lot of films. So I'm very curious to read this at some stage. And it's a nice hardcover that's thin enough that I could easily beat someone over the head with, but I could also casually read it if I went to the park. You know, uh, post-pandemic, hopefully. Nevertheless, this is ultimately a beautiful set that costs me £45 plus £15 delivery, so £60. Uh, for those who don't speak pound, uh, that is 110, per the translation at the time, Australian dollars. 110 Australian dollars for a 214-page book and a 13-minute-long film, 13 film, a 16-minute-long version of the film as well, and a video essay and a feature-long film, and another documentary. For over 1,000 copies, quite weighty too. It's beautiful. Um, I wholeheartedly suggest looking out for this one. If you can, it's still at the Arrow Video Store. Go ahead and buy it if you care to. If you, if you, if I got it as a part of film history, and also because I like reading and I like film history and I like French films, so you know, it's quite a magical thing. You can watch it on eBay. <laughs> you can watch the film on YouTube for free. So I did that before I actually bought this. Just you know, it's like, if I didn't like the film, I wouldn't want to buy it. But no, I like the film. It's very charming. Nevertheless, I'm very happy to have this and can display it very nicely on my shelf over there. And that's what I'm going to do now. Because it's heavy. Well, thank you all so much for watching. This has been an unboxing display of A Trip to the Moon's Arrow Video, Arrow Academy Limited Edition set. Yeah, I don't really think there's much else to say about it. It's a very nicely done set. I like how even the whole entire outside and inside is all black and white. I feel like they could have done maybe a bit more on that really big folder with the disc in it, but I can understand as to why it's size, not just because of what it has on the back with the text, but also, of course, the fact that it needs to hold the disc and the size. So, yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's a good mantelpiece thing, you know. It's ultimately a very beautiful set, and I'd wholeheartedly recommend it to those who are interested. Again, only a thousand units, so you'd probably want to get it before someone starts selling it for 300 bucks on eBay, so people can do that. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my other film playlists and deluxe playlists, premium playlists, however it be, uh, where I talk about, you know, Manta Labs, uh, film arenas, particular steelbooks, however it be. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't for more. And we'll see you next time on Telecreations. Adios.